This is Jake Jordan and his science project. How does a radio work? We made two models. One hand crank model where you crank the hand and then listen to it in the earphones, which you can see right here. This piece is called a capacitor, which stores energy. Which stores energy. There are metal bars right here that make the energy go this way or that way. We also made a Lego model of the radio of a radio and. Radio waves come in through the antenna and and then they go down this they come into anywhere in this white thing or it even comes in better if it comes in the blue thing. Then it goes down and then it goes in. And then here are the buttons. Play! And here's... And... And right now it's 85 FM and 300 AM. And... Alright, Jake, show us your poster and talk about your poster a little bit. Okay. Well... This is a slider bar and you can slide it like that. And and this shows how it gets from this antenna. And then it goes down through a receiver. The receiver separates the signal from the carrier wave, amplifies the signals, and then plays them through a speaker, which converts them back to sound waves and the whole thing is you post sound ra waves and then a microphone um, translate it into uh, uh, electric waves and the signals are used to change or modulate the wave and and then it goes through the air as radio waves and then the receiver and th then we get it from the antenna and it comes down goes through and amplifies the signal and plays them through a speaker which converts them back to sound so this is saying hello, and uh, here it says hello. Okay, tell us about the sections of your poster. What other information do you have on there? Well, you c well we made it so you c after you learned all of the information, you could take a little quiz for yourself. Okay. And we saw this at the Liberty Science Center to cover a radio antenna with a metal cage, it interferes with the transmission of radio waves. You can only hear the static. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> and cover the radio and you can see, hear the station again. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello! Uh -huh. And this is some other additional information. One of the earliest radios invented by Marconi was named the Marconi phone. Source, light, sound, and electricity from 2001. Yay. And over here, we have Bobby and Tim. And that radio is supposed to be green. And, and, the wave, and it says the waves go super fast. They move at the speed of light. Wow. Radio waves move at the speed of light? Yeah, and this is going from hello to one place to another. Hello! All around the hello. world. Hello! Hello! Wow. Hello! 
Hello, 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 hello. Okay. And this is the amplitude modulation, which is AM, and the waves are are measured by its height. And frequency modulation is is measured is measured by by its frequency. <laughs> Well, that's not really the speed of light. Hmm. Here's the DK Encyclopedia, which shows radio waves are much longer than other waves. What's an example of another wave? A gamma wave, which is this. Oh. And then, and then x-rays are like this. And then ultraviolet waves are a little bit longer. Invisible light is in the middle, and then, and then more, and then more is infrared, and then radar, and the most is radio waves again. So this is megahertz equals millions of waves per second, and this is a wave bouncing off the satellite. That pink thing is the ionosphere. It's supposed to be blue. I'm not supposed to be green, but that's supposed to be blue, but the blue didn't work. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about, and I wrote a whole thing about emergency radios and how do you use them in big storms. This is an amplifier. This is a microphone. This is a loudspeaker. And it's just really cool. And we got some more additional information over here from the FCC and Big Side of Amazing Fox. And that's just what we did. Great. Thank you, Jake. Good work.